Okay guys, so today I'm going to show you how to pick out the right size drill bit for uh, pre-drilling a hole for a screw. What I have here is a lag bolt and some different drill bits. And whenever you're uh, pre-drilling any kind of hole for any kind of screw, what you want to do is find a drill bit with a core. This is the core here of the drill bit, the size of the core of the screw. That means the part inside the threads. So see that metal that's inside the threads, in between the threads, a little bit smaller than the threads? That's the core of the screw. You want to find um, a matching drill bit. And the way you do that is by putting the drill bit over the core. And here you can see, right, this drill bit's way too small. You should barely see the threads sticking out of the back of the drill bit. So that tells us that drill bit's too small. All right, so I'm gonna grab another drill bit here. Too big, right? You can see right there, you can't see the threads, correct? So I put the drill bit on top, can't see the threads in back. So I'm gonna try it again. Third drill bit, look at that. See how you can see the threads perfectly in back of the drill bit? That's the right size drill bit to drill a pilot hole, right? What this does is let you put in the screw um, evenly and without struggle. Okay, so the actual screws I'm going to be working with today are going to be these little guys here. Okay, and let's pull the drill bit that I already pre selected up on top. And this is a little bit harder to do because the drill bit's so small, right? But you can see the you can see the threads in back of the drill bit still. So this is going to be the right size pilot hole, right? For those little screws that I'm going to put in on the shelf. And that'll be in the next video. Okay? So that's how you go about selecting the right size drill bit for the screw. You the drill bit's too big, this you'll put the screw in and it'll just spin. If it's too uh small, you're gonna have a tough time putting that screw into the wood or metal, or you might not get it in at all, or you might break or crack the wood. And on metal, if it's sheet metal, it might deflect, and if it's thick metal, then it's just not gonna happen. All right, guys, mini lesson over.